Thank you very much for listening to my talk. I am Xin Xin Gong, and、uh, I'd like to talk about our paper, Resistance of Snowy Against the Fast Correlation Attack. Snowy is a new member in the Snow family of string ciphers. In this paper, we study the resistance of Snowy against bitwise fast correlation attacks by constructing bitwise linear approximations. First, we propose and summarize some constant time algorithms using the slice-like technique to compute the bitwise linear approximations of certain types of computation functions. Then, using these algorithms. We find a number of stronger linear approximations for FSM of two variants of Snowy given in the design document, and thus improve the fast correlation attack. Finally, we study the security of a closer variant of Snowy, and de derive many mask tuples yielding the bitwise linear approximations of the FSM with high SER, and mount a fast correlation attack accordingly. Note that neither of our attacks threatens the security of Snowy. Our talk will include these seven parts. In the first part, I'd like to talk about the motivation. Snowy has two predecessors, Snow Two and Snow Three G, using the classic LFSR FSM structure. Many literatures have studied the linear attacks on Snow Snow Two and Snow Three G, most of which are based on the bitwise linear approximations. At Crypto 2015, Zhang and others achieved improvements over the previous attacks on Snow Snow Two by building two-round bitwise linear approximations for FSM. Inspired inspired by this work, at FSE 2020. Yang and others launched a fast correlation attack on Snow 3G by building three-round bitwise linear approximations for FSM. These results give the impression that large unit approximations lead to larger SEI and also to better attacks. In the design document, the designers study the linear attacks on two variants of Snowy by directly using large unit. Or bitwise linear approximations. So the question is, how do the bitwise linear approximations work for Snowy? Before describing the main work we've done, we will introduce some concepts used in this paper. Definition one describes the correlation of a Boolean function. Correlation is often used to evaluate. The efficiency of bitwise linear approximations in linear attacks. Definition two describes the correlation of an AM function on any given input and output masks. For an AM vectorial Boolean function f, with the definition of the probability distribution, the SER is defined as definition three. Which measures the distance between the target distribution and the uniform distribution, especially for m equals one. The SEI of f is equal to the squared correlation of f. Note that SEI of a distribution is used to evaluate the efficiency of large unit linear approximations in a linear attack. For the targeted cipher Snowy. We only provide the description of internal state updating functions in keystream generation phase. Snowy is with the LFSR and FSM structure. The FSM consists of three registers. The keystream output and the, the FSM updating are as shown. Here, sigma is a bitwise permutation, and AESR. Denotes a full AES encryption round function, with the round key constant being zero. Next, we will introduce the work we've done. The first is about the computation of bitwise linear approximations 
of certain types of nonlinear functions, which is used for the cryptanalysis of snow waves. Here we summarize five types of functions composed of basic operations like mod add, XOR, permutation, and Sbox, and provide algorithms to efficiently compute their linear approximations. Type 1 function is constructed by several parallel small S boxes. For any given input and output mask, correlation 1 can be easily obtained through linear approximation table lookups of SG. Next, type 2 function. Type 2 function represents the addition module 2 to the power of n with several inputs. In the literature NWO6, the authors show that for any given input and output out masks, correlation 2 can be obtained by doing several matrix multiplications by using some pre-computed matrices. This is a constant, constant time procedure. The method in, in NWO6 is as shown in theorem 2. We skip the details. Next, type 3 function. Type 3 function is a composition of type 1 function and the mood add, which is at the core of SNOW 2 and SNOW 3G. The literature GZ20 has provided a constant time algorithm to compute correlation 3 for any given input and output mask. The general idea is to divide the n bit values into d and beta values according to the specific structure of S-box. And then, pre-compute and store some useful matrices independent of the input and output masks using algorithm 1 as shown here. Using these pre-computed matrices, the correlation on an arbitrary bitwise mask tuple can be derived by doing some matrix multiplications of small size, as shown in theorem, theorem 3. Next, type 4 function. Type 4 function H is composed of the additions mod modulo 2 to the power of n, 2 to the power of m, and the permutation p. Next, we show how to accurately compute a correlation 4 in constant time by adapting the techniques in the literatures GZ20 and in WO6. Focus on the definition of H, where M divides N. With the permutation P, the last mod add can be divided into D parallel mod add. Thus, H is actually in type 3 category and can be solved using the method in GZ20. That is, for any given masks, correlation 4 can be obtained by doing some matrix multiplications of small size, as shown here. In this equation, the matrices CV are of size 2 times 2. Note that all possible matrices CV are also derived by doing matrix multiplications by using the bit slice te technique in literature in WO6 as shown in theorem 1. We will skip the details. The last is type 5 function, which is quite si similar to type 4, but work on different sizes using different uh, permutations. This type of function plays an important role for analyzing the bit bitwise linear approximations of snow wave. With the pre-computed matrix CV for type 4 function, correlation 5 for any given mask can be obtained by adapting the commu commutation for type 4. In our case, by doing some matrix multiplications of small size, which is also a constant time press procedure. After introducing five types of types of nonlinear functions, we will next present the applications of the above commutation algorithm to some evidence of SNOW-V. 
the first one is snow snow v sigma there. The left finger so shows the FSM part of a snow v sigma zero zero. In snow v sigma zero, the permutation sigma used in the FS the FSM updating is assumed to be identity. That is, there is no bitwise permutation. We will first study the bitwise linear positions for FSM by using previous algorithms. For three-round FSM, the output bits can be represented as a function of internal state bits with the variables and the f function described above. Generally, we consider to apply the linear masks phi gamma lambda to the key stream words at three consecutive time instances, respectively, and then cancel out the nonlinear contributions by decomposing the whole noise into four sub noises, and the, the four noises are Na, Nb, Nc, and Nd. Accordingly, the bitwise linear approximations of the FSM of snow v sigma zero have the following form. And the correlation under any given mask phi gamma lambda is obtained according to the pin up lemma. What we should do is to find the phi gamma lambda such that the corresponding correlation is as large as possible. Then, we need to compute the correlations of the noises for given masks. First, for the computation of the correlation of Na and Nb. Note that Na and Nb have the same form, but different input and output linear masks. From their exp expressions, a certain type of function is derived, denoted by mathcore g. Based on this function, we define, we define a type 3 function g as follows. We verify that math call g can be expressed as four type 3 functions in parallel. Based on this, we deduce that the correlations of Na and Nb are computed as the multi multiplications of correlation 3 under the corresponding partial masks. Since correlation 3 for an arbitrary mask tuple can be obtained by doing four matrix multiplications of small size, the correlations of Na and Nb can be obtained with constant time complexity. Next, for the computation of the correlation of Nc. Similarly, a certain type of function is derived from the expression of Nc denoted by mathcore f, which is a parallel appl application of four type 2 functions, that is, the addition modulo 2 to the power of 32 with three puts. Then, the correlation of nc is computed as the multiplications of correlation 2 under the corresponding partial mask. Since correlation 2 for any given mask can be obtained by doing 32 matrix multiplications of small size, the correlation of NC can be obtained with constant time complexity. For the noise ND, note that subbytes is an application of 16 AES boxes and can also be represented as four parallel applications of half-point function as box. Then, the correlation of ND can be obtained through 16 LAT lookups, which is, of course, a constant time procedure. With the constant time algorithms for computing the correlations of four sub-noises, we can carry out a wide range of search for phi gamma lambda which yield high correlations. In the paper, we use a search strategy attempting to find some potential linear masks based on some observation. 
We will skip the details, but give the search results. Our best results have the correlation two to the power of minus eighteen point six seven, and the SER SER is two to the power of minus thirty seven point three. Following the general procedure of the fast correlation attack, we propose an attack with a linear positions in the table. Now we compare our results based on bitwise linear approximations with data based on bitwise linear approximations in the design document. Our best linear approximation had the SEI two to the power of minus. Thirty-seven point three, which is much larger than the best bitwise one with the with the SEI two to the power of fifty-eight point seven. Using the stronger approximations, we naturally introduce improve. We naturally improve the faster correlation. Next, we will introduce the bitwise linear approximation. Of a new variant of Snowy, called Snowy Mod Add Thirty Two and Mod Add Eight, where the permutation sigma is used as proposed. This figure shows the part of the FSM. Only the thirty-two bit adder used for updating the R1 register is replaced by eight-bit adder, while everything else remains identical. We will first study the bitwise linear approximation for FSM by using previous algorithms. As before, we consider to apply the linear masks phi gamma lambda to the keystream words at three different time instances, respectively, and then cancel out the nonlinear contributions by decomposing the whole noise into four subnoises. And finally, obtain the bitwise linear approximation of the three-round FSM. Note that here the noises N A and N B are the same as that in the analysis of Snowy Sigma Zero, while N C bar and N D bar are new introduced. Thus, we need to compute the correlations of N C bar and N D bar. NC bar is exactly the noise introduced by the bitwise linear approximation of the type five function introduced before. Then the correlation of NC bar for any given masks can be obtained by doing some matrix multiplications, which is also a constant time procedure. As for ND bar, the correlation can be obtained through sixteen LAT lookups. To sum up, the correlations of four subnoises can all be obtained with constant time complexities. As before, we use a strategy based on some observations to search for the linear masks. Our best results are listed in this table. With these approximations, we also propose a faster correlation. We skip the details. Finally, we give a brief study on another variant of Snowy, whose bitwise linear position has been studied in the design document. This is the part of the FSM. The two 32-bit adders are both repla replaced by 8-bit adders. We will sketch some ideas on how to find a good bitwise linear approximations, but list the best results we found. Compare with the results based on bitwise linear approximations in the design document. We increase the bias of the linear approximation greatly. Finally, I'd like to make a conclusion with this presentation. In this paper, we present a number of stronger linear approximations for the FSM of several variants of Snowy, and further propose 
improve the attacks accordingly. Although neither of our attacks threatens the th security of Snowy, we provide new lights on the structure of Snow-like stream ciphers and also the bitwise linear approximation attacks. That's all of my presentation. Thanks for your listening.